to France. Au revoir. Uh, what's Italian now? We haven't got a clue now, guys. So Ciao is you. goodbye. I'm pretty sure that was hello as well. No, what is, what is it? Hang on. Was it buongiorno? Lasagna. Is it buongiorno? Hang on, one second. What did you say? I'm just going to remember with my Google memory. Ciao! I just remembered. <laughs> with my Google memory. I really haven't got a clue about any Italian apart from like... Goodbye food. is arrivederci. We know that bit. So, it's ciao to Italy. Italia. 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 Well, we're not there yet. No, no, but that's where we're going. Yeah. That's where we're going. Yeah. So, where is it we're going, Mum? We're going to... A little place called Asti. My nana's favourite table drink, not for herself, but every time we go to my nana's, she always put a bottle of Asti on the table. Um, and I don't know if you remember the vlog that we did in memory of my nana when she passed away. Me and my sister bought an Asti bottle. Well, obviously we drank the Asti, but we put lights in it, so we've kept those as our little memory of, memory of nana with her Asti bottle. She was a hostess with a mostess. She, she was a big fan of the Asti drink. So oh, we were going to go to Turin, Right. That's right, yeah. Turin, 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 as in the Turin breaks, the band. I went to Turin, so we were going to go all the way there, but it is going to start raining soon, so it's a big city, so I didn't want to trip to a big city in the rain again, we've done quite a lot of um, city type things. So we thought we'd go to Asti, which is a little bit smaller, obviously we can have a glass of Asti for my nana. And actually the hotel that we booked has a free bottle of red wine, which might be So we'll have that as well. <laughs> there, should it should, yeah, really. Anyway, so yeah, so we, we're heading there. So it should be about four hours, I reckon. Maybe. Well, three and a half, give or take half. Sometimes you Google it and it'll say five hours, and then you Google it again and it'll say like three hours and 50 minutes. Like, I know, and I make your mind up, Google. Uh, yeah. It's to do with traffic at the time of day that you're Googling it. I reckon, so, I reckon we'll be there by three o'clock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you put your foot so, down. Yeah. Italy. I'm putting my foot down, sorry. <laughs> so here we go. We're calling Teaser, Teaser Columbus. Yes, because he's a well-travelled doggy. Yeah, I'm stuck in the middle of all these little things. Oh, yeah. oh. Had chicken for breakfast. Oh, he yeah. did, rotisserie chicken for breakfast. Spoiled. Yeah. Spoiled, yeah. I say. Well-fed on this. I didn't know if you had to buy No, you're not a well-fed no. dog. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, better than he's got uh, pan of chocolate there right now. There we go. Messy. Messy. Can you believe him, Lenny? So onwards, Italia, you become. Last night I was dreaming out loud, California sun was making my eyes dry. Next year in the winter, let's give it a try. I'll keep on dreaming out loud tonight. Summer is over, and you still haven't called me back. We're just getting. Welcome, ciao, to Hotel Liz. You know Liz, lovely. So this is our hotel room and this is what we have. Um, we've just literally arrived a second, so we just let Teaser off his lead. So we've got the double bed, which is down to this side over here with a very, very large wardrobe down the side there. A nice long mirror for mum. Nice. She likes looking at herself in the mirror. Teaser's been so looking at herself in the mirror. Uh, we've got a uh, bathroom to here, so we've got the uh, shower unit, walk-in shower unit here, and then I've got the toilet here, and the uh, sink, hair dryer on the wall as well, which is good, and a little makeup mirror. Look at that. And then round the corner, we have two single beds. Uh, with a cupboard in between, and we also have a selection of fruit, and yes, yes. more importantly, more importantly, uh, the bottle of wine, free bottle of wine, which we've got. I've also just noticed that we're in the same country that beat us in the World Cup. Italy. Did they? Yeah. How do you not remember that? One? And then I just we've got the original. colour TV on the side there, and we've got a little Juliet balcony. See this one by the big, the 
How do we how do we do them? Hang on, just one second. I meant the euros by the way, not the world cup. Can we just take them back? We just trap them in the door. There we go. Pull those across. Do they go? There we go. And we've got a little balcony out here. This is nice. You can see the city out here. We're going to go for a little Rome. A little Rome in Italy. One. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Because we're, we're bursting for a nasty. Oh, no. We'd find a bar with a nasty, but first off, he's it's gonna have a little so run around had his because he's been, been very, very good in the back of the car, haven't you? He has. <laughs> is a load of terrapins and a massive terrapin pool. I mean, loads, loads, I wouldn't say hundreds, but certainly there's absolute stacks. So we're in a park in the middle of Asti, which is the first destination we've come to in Italy. Probably the last destination we're gonna to come to in Italy, but it's rather nice and it reminds us of England because it's very autumnal and there's lots of these wonderful monuments and statues around and as you find in some parks anyway so just really really nice um although they've got their coats on which we'll we'll talk to you about in a couple of seconds time i'm still quite i'm fine with my hoodie to be honest i'm fine with the hoodie but let's hear their story how do you feel with your coats loving it loving it loving it loving it look at those now coats holly holly, holly. Oh, 50 oh. 60 70 84 I do need a new big coat though. This is like um, 1984. Yeah, oh yeah. I said better than I said 85. I'm there pretty sure. Yeah, I do need a more substantial dog walking warm coat. This is a more nice looking in the town kind of coat. Not the warmest, but it's not that cold actually. This is the but warmest coat. Nice. This is the warmest coat and the warmest shoes. Got long trousers on as well. I'm, so, I'm so happy you're here to do this. Got in autumn I think wear. I'll be this ex enthusiastic and excited for winter and autumn. Yeah. We're getting the transition from summer to autumn, autumn to winter. We're having a very short transition from summer to winter, actually. I know. It's like, summer, winter, autumn, all in one. No, summer, autumn, winter. Do you know your season? I just said, didn't I? No, you said summer, winter, autumn. Summer, autumn, winter. We might have a mild winter, have <laughs> <laughs> Can I carry on? <laughs> no. Cool. It's been saying it feels like the suburbs of, of London, maybe like Hyde Park type thing all around here with all the traffic, but also a mixture of Parkland area and city suburb. It's just more or less the same, really. Obviously, it's Italy. Uh, it is raining but we are dodging the raindrops because of the wonderful tree cover that we've got, which is good. So we're just off to try and find somewhere that we can eat, have a glass of Asti. Asti, not Asti, that's something else. And, um, <laughs> and see if Teaser can join us as well, which is quite nice. It's a Nana Ward. Banana and Grandad, so you saw us have this on the table for us every time we went round for a meal without fail. No, every time I come to speak, it gets. So, yeah, lovely. But this is it's nice and chilled. Nana sometimes used to have the warm on the table. Lovely. 
this is so cozy. We're in a, a glass cabin outside of this restaurant. And we, little do we know that Asti is actually a very big wine producing area itself, Asti. So they've got red wines, they've got white wines, they've got Asti, of course. So there's loads of different wines. So I'm going to go for a fruity regional red. So something that they actually do here. And also, um, Mum's going to go for a white, uh, dry white, which is produced in the local area, which we're absolutely can't wait to get our chops around. And this is just so cute, isn't it? Can't move my specs on so I can read the menu. I can't actually see them. It's very good. It helps. helps you <laughs> so we're going to look at the menu and uh, and select what we're going to eat. There's so much on the menu. I don't know what we're going to have. So I've got the gnocchi, which is there. Ben's got a wonderful steak and potatoes. We're sharing an appetizer, which is cut in this um, like battery bread for the, So there was two bigger ones and two little ones from half. Really nice, it's like, um, it's still raining so we are making our way back to the Where hotel. <laughs> back to the hotel. Back to the hotel. Um, back over yonder through the park. And hopefully the bar's going to be open so we can sit down. So, or we're going to be upstairs. Keep it warm. warm. I love the cold now. Breakfast time and there's absolutely tons of stuff here. I mean, loads of cakes and delicacies, and there's a hot food over in the top corner as well. But this, this, look at this. Look at that. Real honeycomb for your honey. Now, how cool is that? It's a gorgeous morning, so gorgeous, we thought we'd jump in a car and travel to our next destination, which is Switzerland. Yeah. It is gorgeous. Absolutely. It's the sun just shining down through the trees. Oh, let's go to sleep, stood up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we'll say ta-ta on this vlog and we'll catch you in the next one. So ta-ta for now. Bye. <laughs>